Well, 40 days ago, Nigeria set a deadline for the capture and or death of Boko Haram leader Abu Bakar Shekau. That deadline has come and gone, and the insurgent leader is still alive and at large. It's not the first time such a directive has failed. CGTN's Kelechi Mekalam sought the views of a Nigerian security consultant on the implications of deadlines in counterinsurgency strategies. There's a possibility that Lieutenant General Bratai was trying to sound very convincing. Don't forget that he was appointed for this job he's doing. It doesn't mean that he's the only person that can deliver this job for Nigeria. So you've got other people that are equally good or even better than him that are on the sidelines. So obviously he could be saying this to reassure the presidency or Mr. President that appointed him that he's got the capacity to deliver Abu Bakr Shekau in the next 40 days. Now, what's the effect of unfulfilled deadlines in the counterinsurgency strategy? Well, it's a huge effect. What it shows that when you don't keep, if you give a deadline, it gives you people the, the mindset to believe in your strategy, in your tactics, in your operational capacity. So it gives the public the assurance. It gives the person that appointed you being Mr. President the assurance that you're on top of your work. So to give a deadline is very positive. However, giving a deadline that you're not going to be able to, pr to keep is worse than giving a deadline at all. Because what it does, the public will lose confidence in you. The person that appointed you will lose confidence in you. Your colleagues will lose confidence in you. And now the terrorists themselves, we see you as not being serious, that he's giving a deadline and we are still standing. Why does it seem like Shekau is so elusive to catch? Shekau is working in one of the best platforms that the system has given to Shekau. When I say the best platforms, we are talking of insurgents that are operating in this area of Nigeria that is so close to our international borders yet there is no international border security. There is no identity system in society. So it means that Mr. Shekau can come in, have his meetings with his high rank officers, and go back to wherever he comes from. So without proper national border security, it makes Shekau's life so easy. That's number one. Number two, apart from the soldiers or the foot soldiers of the terrorists, you've got other soldiers that we call the sympathizer soldiers. These are people that are not Boko Haram elements, but they have this kind of sympathy for Boko Haram based on A, it could be based on their culture. Two, it could be based on religion, religious beliefs. Number three, it could be based on injustices that they believe that the government or the society is doing against them. So they could see those terrorist leaders as revolutionary fighters to them.